Hello, 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 ladies and gents, and welcome to the first ever London house tour, the first ever video I'm making here in London. This has been a long time coming. I'm going to close the front door behind you. I've moved to London, but I'll get into all of that as we get around the house tour. First things first, welcome. We got this place. When I say we, you'll see later on. I'm not living here alone, mainly because of the location. That's mainly why we're here, because we're very, very central in London. So if I want to do car spotting, it's very, very easy for me to do. Anyways, before we get into too many details, I'm going to start showing you around. When you walk in, this, very proud of this, IKEA shoe holder. Boom. That's because when we go upstairs, we have white carpets and they are a nightmare. So everyone has to take their shoes off here. We've also got these, uh, they're called city bugs. They're perfect for around London because they do about 15 miles an hour. So I can go into like all the streets where the, all the supercars, all the car spotting goes on. I can be there in like 10 minutes on these things, five minutes. So it's perfect. It's really easy. Anywho, let's walk down here. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not used to doing these sorts of house tours, but we'll start with the kitchen. This is our lovely kitchen. Again, an Ikea bin. Most of the stuff you'll see has just been set up. We've moved in here very, very recently. So it's, you know, still a bit weird for me to be here. But yeah, I mean, this is the kitchen. I don't really know what to tell you about. We've got coffee machine, toaster, microwave. They always show what's in the fridge in house tours. That I actually genuinely don't know what's in here. Nothing very interesting is the answer. Onions, water, milk, pesto pasta, and some fruit. Beers and, and more alcohol up there. Just, you know, but we want to have a good time on the weekends. Now you walk out of the kitchen into this little entrance corridor area. This is actually my bathroom, which I share with Rodrigue, who's one of the housemates, who's actually behind the camera right now. So you're not going to see him unless you see him in the glass. But anyways, he's behind the camera. This is our bathroom. We've got a lovely bath, we've got a nice shower. Pretty simple, modern. I quite like it, I really like this bathroom. Anyways, this is my room. Now, when I got here, the reason why I never really posted it online is because this was only a bed when I first got here. And I'm actually quite proud of this. First time I ever really delved into Ikea. Now it is a nightmare in terms of building it, but once it's done, so good and so much value for the money. So I built this two times actually, because I built it the wrong way around and then had to rebuild it. I built the desk. Uh, you can, this is where all of my editing goes on. So this is my laptop, which is linked to this TV screen. So the laptop goes underneath and then I kind of just do everything from here. Uh, we've got a blow up mattress in there, all of my traveling bags, which, you know, if ever I need them, they are there. They do look a bit messy. The bed and then this TV, it's actually off right now, but I've got these really cool LED lights that go behind it. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of funky. These are electric scented candles, which actually are quite useful because you're not allowed to have real fire candles in your apartment because obviously, oh yes, we're renting this place. Don't own it. Oh, there you go. See, it goes on. So renting, don't own it. It's just so much simpler and the whole political situation in England at the moment, you don't want to really be buying and it's so much cheaper. Now, I know a lot of you are going to comment this um, photo was here when I got here and it's not aligned with the TV. It annoys me as well. Don't worry, you're not the, you're not the only ones. This has to be one of the highlights of the house. So if I walk out of my room right here, we've got a garden which for central London, for those of you who don't really know too much about central London, is, is fairly rare actually. And we were really, really lucky. We looked for a place for ages and we were super lucky to be able to find a place which had a little garden like this. If you don't know in London, uh, rent is ridiculous. So you get a shoe box for the price of most stuff in other places. And we're super, super happy. I know that a lot of your comment like, oh, you know, this house is, is, you know, like not like the one that you moved into in Monaco or different things like this. Yes, completely different, but London rent is pretty ridiculous and we're all so, so happy and feel so unbelievably lucky to be living in a house like this in, you know, the area that we're in and I can't believe it. I'm so, so, so excited. You will maybe comment, this is um, synthetic grass. That's gonna, you know, divide opinions, I'm sure. I wasn't sure about it when we first saw it, but Synthetic grass is actually kind of cool for people like us. We're all in our 20s, so we're able to come out here. We don't get our feet muddy. It's zero maintenance. That's the main thing. There are no ants, which is something I didn't realize, but you do get a lot of slugs. We've got a little chill out area here with one of these. This looks comfortable, but um, this was all here. When we got the place, the beds and the outdoor furniture was already here. Um, but the, this is really actually not that comfortable. It just kind of looks like it would be. Uh, we've got a beanie bag football just in case we want to get some like football goals or something we just put up these these 
little lights as well, which are kind of cute, I guess. A uh, little dining area. And this, now I want your opinions because currently we've got a shed, which is completely empty. And I really want to make this into something. So whether that be, you know, some of the other guys want to put like, it, it's, it's bigger than you think. I'll just walk into it and show you. Like I can stand up pretty easily in here. I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but it's a little table. So some of the guys want to put like a rowing machine or like weights and have it as like a gym kind of setup. I think, uh, well, the other idea we've all got is maybe making like a little bar here with a mini fridge. And so if you're out here with some friends and you just want to grab a beer or like, you can just have a good time, you can come in here and do that. So that's idea number two. Third idea is a podcast studio. I'm thinking of doing a podcast and I thought this would be really cool if I set it up and had this whole podcast and then had a guest every week or two weeks or whenever it'd be, they would come over and we would just kind of use this as a podcast thing. Or what was it? Oh, simulator as well. Have it as a simulator room because I've got a, a racing simulator you'll see upstairs. Have a TV in here with a simulator. I don't know, comment any ideas you may have. And if you know anyone in London, and shoot me a, an Instagram DM, my Instagram's here, follow me if you don't already, and you can send me messages of what you think we should do in the shed. Anyways, let's go back to the house and go to the second floor. We didn't show you the outside of the house for a few reasons. It's not the prettiest car from the outside, first of all. Did I say car? See, that's how used I am to, yeah. That's how used I, that's how used I am to uh, making videos about car. I meant house. Uh, it's not the prettiest house from the outside and we also, uh, kind of want to keep the location somewhat private. So, you come back past the entrance and then you walk up here and this is where the white carpet comes in. Looks cool, very comfortable, but a nightmare to maintain and not have completely filthy. Now this is, you walk up the stairs and you walk into the living room, which is kind of like the heart of the house. So we've got this table, which again is a nightmare to keep clean. Glass tables look cool, nightmare to keep clean. It's kind of where everything happens. We can, as you can see, we've got some be and get banners here. Uh, because occasionally, like on weekends and stuff, when we don't go to the office, we will just kind of work from here. Um, and yeah, this is where everything kind of happens. The sofa was actually already here when we moved in, and we, we kind of want to change it. Let me know what you think. I, I don't think it fits the room nicely. It's not very comfortable. It's four of us. We can't sit four of us on it. So we want to get like a big L-shaped sofa that will fill out the room more and make it more comfortable. There's a beanie bag, and then the, the simulator right here, which is so, so cool, but it isn't actually linked up yet. This is all fully Fanatec. Um, they very kindly sort of hooked me up with this thing and then we've got the PS4 so you can play everything sort of through there. And we've got another b and Get banner right here, which we, we keep here because it gives us motivation to get up, go to the office and, and kind of do what we've got to do. So yeah, this is kind of the heart. And then we've got a balcony where there is with the first roommate. So, you know, we've got Rodrigo behind the camera, but then Mark is right here working yeah. very conveniently just happens to be on the back you're not going to bother them too much but yeah this is the balcony where you can see the garden from above which is kind of funky yeah, i like this view from here we then come to the second bedroom of the house so a little corridor this is actually your room rodrigue uh, so this is rodrigue's room uh, very simple now rodrigue was the last to move in so hasn't had time to properly set it up yet so he's going to do like me uh, go full ikea i think you're going to get a desk here and then kind of set the room up and, and pimp it out. But I really like this room. It's got loads of light. That's one of the reasons we kind of fell for this house is there are huge windows and it's really nice and bright. So yeah, all things room. I'll get out of your room before, before too long. And then we go up again, third and final floor. There's a mean echo up here. Another bathroom. This time it's Mark and PH who share this bathroom. Really nice as well. It's not quite as bright as the other rooms, but you know, does the job. Uh, so that's bathroom number two. There's only two bathrooms, four bedrooms. Uh, we then got Mark's room. So Mark, who you saw out on the balcony, he actually got what's deemed as like the master bedroom. It's super, super nice. And like Rodrigue, he's gonna pimp it out. He actually got <laughs> some LED lights like I've got behind my TV to put all around the bed and they didn't work. So uh, a bit of a panic there. And then last, but not least, we've got PH. Oh, here he is. This is PH. Hello, hello. Hello, how are how you? How you doing? Yeah, good, good, good. We're just doing a little house tour. This is PH's oh, nice. room. You got a good room. It's a really nice room, this yeah, one. It's really nice one. Yeah, it's and they already had some of this furniture when they moved in, which I am quite jealous about this, this little thing here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you've seen most of the house now. We'll let you go back to work. It's Thank you. Serious. You've seen the housemates, you've seen Mark, Rodrigue behind the camera, 
and pH, you'll be seeing them a lot more obviously in the vlogs. You know what, let's go back down into my room. Oh no, let's go to the garden. Go for that. Da, 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 da. I mean, that's the house. You guys have been asking a lot about what my living situation is, and it's probably time I clear up exactly what happened. Because I realized I was, so I was living at my parents' house. It was a house where, you know, we did a lot of filming on the driveway. You guys maybe all recognize that driveway. And then I moved with a friend of mine, Seb, into this new house. We did a big reveal video, house tour video. And we honestly believed we'd be staying in that house for a while. The plan was to stay there for about a year. But then the, we were renting that house and the house got sold. So it was always in our contract that it was, we didn't have a lot of forewarning before the house would sell. It was up on the market. We were told it probably wouldn't sell because it was over market price. But anyways, it sold and we had to get out of there straight away. So we were left to the whole dilemma of where do we go? I decided to move to London, was living at Seb's parents' place, crashing there whilst I looked for my own place, then decided to move in with these guys. And now we're here. So that's the whole situation. I know it's all been very confusing, but I didn't really know what to tell you because I didn't even really know what was going on. I moved into someone and it was all very unsettling because it was all of a sudden like move out and I didn't really have any place to live and I didn't want to rush into somewhere. So this is the new place. You're going to be seeing a lot of videos here. There's plenty of stuff to be done. If you have any ideas of how we could kind of pimp it out and make it cool, please do let me know. I'm super happy that you guys have been able to come along and see the house now. I'm very excited. I feel incredibly fortunate. I'm living with, you know, three of my best friends in the whole world in one of the greatest cities in the whole world. And I'm just so, so happy. So thank you guys for your support as always. And I'll see you with more videos very, very soon. Cheers guys. Bye bye. <laughs> hey. Let's go. Back. Yo, once again.